Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play Big Games. I didn't click on that, and I've not done this series in a very long while. I think it's been almost two weeks now, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, but we are back with the return of some WWE Supercard. The reason I haven't done it is because of uh, FIFA videos, WWE videos, taking over my channel, especially the prediction videos. I've just got a quick bit of time to do some Supercard. So I thought I might as well get some done. As you can see we've got a ring domination event but I'm not going to be participating in that because I still don't know exactly how it's done and um, I'll just, I don't know, I don't think I'll get very far in it. But what we are going to do though is we are going to play some more exhibition matches. I'm going to quickly show you something guys here. The re because I haven't played it in so long, we our login bonus kind of, you know, mm, I did come on the 27th, the last time I recorded was the 20th of March. I did come on the 27th just to get a login bonus and I completely forgot about it. I could have got Epic Booker T if I'd been on for two more days, but... Oh well, we can go as try next month. I was thinking next month, April... I'm clicking on, clicking on all the weird shit. Next month... Well, tomorrow is April, actually, so I'm going to try and do a video every single day of April so I can get the next uh, rewards. There's been an update for Supercard, but I doubt it's actually changed much. But uh, regardless, let's go into our first match. We're going to play against Brian. That's Rare Andre the Giant as his picture. I'm going to see how we're going to fare. I can't remember if he won loads of matches or if he lost loads of matches with the squad that we're currently using. It's been a while since I played, but let's go with it and see what happens. So obviously, first of all, well not obviously, but it's going to be first of all, speed and charisma. Of course I'm just going to drop big guns there. I'm glad I did, because any other guy would have lost then. But Andre the Giant does defeat Ultra Rare uh, Level 3 Wrongly Pro Rusev. And uh, we get the win. And up next. We can use Brock Lesnar. Ah. Oh. I mean, it doesn't really need that power down thing, but it's good to reuse it anyway. And takes him down. Oh, we've got the win already, so that's not too bad. And we've got a Divas match. Something I always dread. I don't know why I dread it, because I just won one. I also got slightly better stats, because like, I think they played more games with ours than they have with theirs, so that's why we've got slightly better stats. I'm maybe it's the tokens, I'm not too sure. I don't know the extra tokens on it. Oh no, that was me. I'm guessing it was there. What? I'm recording. I'm So we've got them Colin Rock, Colin Blake, and Colin, Colin, Colin Rowan. Mum just walked into my room, not knowing that I was recording, so <laughs> that's what the noise was. And um, you probably hear me whispering soon that I'm recording. But, yeah. Anyway, we're we'll playing Davy next because she's got on Cam Dean Ambrose's picture. Divas match, not the best start, but oh, if only we've got the running knees. If I actually got the running knees, match, I still lost by a point anyway, so it's fine. And Dali gets the first point. So much charisma, please, Andre. Even if he gets his perfect clicks, I still won. It's fine. So one point eight. I've not played Supercard in ages, it feels weird playing it again, but it kind of feels good as well. I miss playing Supercard. I've been doing loads of WWE videos recently, and the Faith career modes, which I haven't done in a couple of days, so I really need to do them tomorrow as well. 
Oh, the only problem is this prediction thing. I've got WrestleMania and um, NXT TakeOver Dallas doing a short space of time. I have done Dallas. That should be uploaded tonight. Probably be uploaded after this episode's gone up. I think this episode will probably get up first. But that will be up eventually. And then I've got to do WrestleMania predictions over the next few days. So that should be fun. And we have beaten Davi here, so that's good. Let's get a quick drink. We've got another nice hammer bed. We do get two picks, I'm just going to quickly pick them before I take a drink. We've got Common Fandango and uh, Common Stop Sign. What's up? What's this? Watch an ad for additional draft picks. No. Uh, that's an advert. That's probably what's been updated. That's probably the only update there was. It'd be ridiculous if there was. We've won the first two matches back. And we're going to play against Adnan next. Actually, it's been so long I've forgotten who I was uh, working on upgrading next, if I'm honest. So I think this is probably another favourable match. At least I'm hoping it is. So much speed. I'm actually going to put Faith in Kalisto. It looks like I made the wrong choice. Oh. Of all times, why didn't Kalisto get speed boost then? God damn it, Kalisto. You have to ruin my life. Now, Diva Pal Charisma. Please, Brie. I just needed to make sure. I just needed to make sure I was winning that match. I needed that point. It was a very vital point. In general scheme of things. I've also got Andre. If I really need a good person to finish the match off for me. So, we do get a point here. Which is good. I'm very happy about that. So, let's see. So much toughness, go on Andre, get that boost. How does it, does it even matter? No, it doesn't even matter. Andre versus Andre. The Andreas. We did get a victory again, that's three in a row. So I'm happy about that. We haven't got another perfect game yet, but it's not too bad. Common Booker again, and Common Rosa Mendez. So many common cards, just want some decent ones. Unless we're going to move on to our next game against EJ the Boss. 99. He's got Common Edge as his picture. So much toughness. I just had to throw Andre out there straight away to make sure I'd win because nobody else would have got me to win there. That Rollins is pro drawn. It's kind of sucks in because that's actually a pretty good wild card. It's not been pro correctly, which sucks. <laughs> oh well. His loss. Charisma. I'm gonna put it on Seamus. I think he needs more. Um, what do I call it? He needs more. Um, what's the word? More experience. More matches played. I think. As far as what? Well, from what I remember, I think he didn't play too many matches for me. I think I won him in the People's Champion between Shout and Bree, so. What I didn't realise while I was gone, I went on my other account and I played a bit of Supercard. And what I didn't realise was there was another People's Champion tournament and it was between Triple H and Roman Reigns. I didn't do much in that, so I was unranked on my other account. I did two matches and lost them both. 
from Sock. Nah, I did there were lots of rewards and there wasn't any that I really wanted particularly anyway, so it would have been cool to get a couple of good ones, but I didn't really want any. So I just stayed out of it. I think it was Roman Reigns that actually won the People's Champion thing, so I would have got a Roman Reigns award. I mean, I could have got Epic Dean Ambrose, which would have been pretty cool, but... Mmm, wasn't really much I wanted. So we do get another win. Mm, that's brilliant. So three more picks. Common Power, lovely. Hong Kong Stardust, brilliant. Common Big E, perfect. So four games down, six to go. And we'll go against... Gehai, I don't know how you pronounce it. Not a clue how you pronounce it, but... We're going to play against him, or her. Could be a girl. But reckon it was the picture. Tough and speed, please Bree. I was gonna lose one before. For Christ's sake, why can't my divas be better? I could just do the super rare diva if I'm honest. Diva power toughness, that means I've lost the game. I've got two Natalias. Oh, that's bullshit. Uh, well, at least I'll win the final point. I guess there's something positive to pick up from it. I've still lost the game though, it's my first loss since returning. Because two stupid Natalias. I'm going to destroy whoever goes against me, so it's fine. So Andrea Giant and Sheamus versus another Andrea and the Iron Sheik. Which isn't too bad. I'm not sure who I'm going to work on next. There was a card that I said I was going to work on next. On leveling up. Uh, leveling up. I don't know if it was Andrea's pro. I can't remember what I said. Maybe I'll start leveling up Bree. Just to get a better Divas card. Because I've actually got two Brees now, so... Actually, I think that's what we'll do. We're going to get a rare pro, uh, Brie Bella. Because I need a really good diva, even if it means I've still got uncommon camera and I don't care. I need a good diva. So we're going to play against Koda Hund next. That's sixth game of the episode. So much speed, charisma. I'm not gonna win the cloister, am I? Just not. At least I know I'm definitely gonna win most of the matches with Andre anyway. Even if Rusev has boosted the hell out of himself. Hell yes, Andre, the far 50 splash. So much toughness and speed. I'm gonna put my faith in Kalisto here. We're gonna get another Ultra Rusev. Why isn't he probably. Why isn't this guy or girl pro there, Rusev? Well, obviously, level him up first, because that would make a sick Ultra Rare Pro. Once you level up an Ultra Rare Pro, he can get to 500 stats. I know that because I've got an Ultra Rare Pro Bret Hart on my other account. Which I might start playing more games on uh, offline as well. So, really like Supercard. There was an update, which means I couldn't can't, I couldn't have played it for the past few days anyway. But regardless, we do get the perfect game here, which is pretty good. I'm happy about that. Even if it doesn't sound it, I am happy about that. <laughs> Sheamus will defeat the Ultimate Warrior with ease. Lovely. What I could do in that with right now is the Super Rare Diva. If in this episode of Super Rare Diva, I'll be pretty happy. If I pick up Super Rare male superstar guy, then I won't be too mad, but I would prefer a Super Rare Diva, if I'm honest. I can get a common John Cena, I mean, just as good, really. Anyway, 
Anyway, we're going to move on to the next match. We're going to play against Bacon Swag because the name stands out to me. And let's see what the first match is. Toughness, Charisma. Like I said, Andre is going to win pretty much every match he's in, which is that was a good sign. Unless it's a class an epic or a, a very good ultra rare, or maybe even a super rare pro, which is quite correctly, I guess. But otherwise, it's going to be Andre who wins the match, taking the power of Atami down and Booker T down. But they took our power down, but they're incompatible anyway, so we're going to win. It either comes down to Kalisto. Bree or Cameron, which is not going to be good if it's on the last two. Hopefully it's Callisto in the final match in a speed match where he gets a speed boost. That'll make me very happy indeed. Yeah, that's good enough. It's still not the perfect game anyway. Hell yes, perfect game. Bonus pick awarded. I'm gonna get our picks. Rare manager Bobby Heenan. Someone I don't want at all, but we'll take it, I guess. We'll play against. Bohika. Who had uh, Red or Sigler as his picture, I believe. And uh, we're just going to wait to his... Oh. Stop giving me the Divas matches. Come on, actually no. If the Divas matches are going to be like that, then I'm fine with them. But otherwise... That card's prod wrong, we'll ignore it. I'm gonna find my normal version is better than the pro version that she's got. Call it this opponent has. Uh, I think it sounds like a girl's name. Andre smash him. Oh, that could have been risky. Ultra rare British Bulldog versus uh, super rare pro Andre Giant. Andre does win, but good card is ultra rare Bulldog. That'd be a cool card to get if I could get it. Tag Team Power Charisma. Let's use Charisma Boost on Sheamus and Brock Lesnar. Oh, shit. But they're incompatible. I was going to say this is incredibly close, but I don't think it is. Wait, I think it's a draw, actually. Am I correct? Sorry, it's a draw. Oh wait, what? Oh, okay, we win. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking at power alone. I didn't really notice the charisma. But, um, we do get another perfect game. Three perfect games in a row, not doing too bad. Three more picks. For me. And we'll pick this one. This one. And this one. All very inspiring picks, I didn't even click on that, so you can go away. Two more games left, and we're going to play against H-Boss. Try clicking it with my earphones. Eh. Eh. Fine, I'll just click it with the hands. H-Boss had common David Otunga. We do know the game's been updated, our tongue is still in. For some reason. I'm not quite sure why. So much power speed, I'm gonna rely on Andre. To destroy Tito Santana here. He was prod wrong. So many wrongly prod cards in this tier. Kinda makes you feel like smart, I guess. Hell yes. 
Andre Giant with that splash again. Toughness and speed, I'm gonna use Kalisto. Mainly because he's not got the yellow aura like the other two have. If it's a tag team match, then I want uh, at least a semi compatible tag team, and Kalisto wins anyway, so. Oh, good. So much power toughness, we're going to use Seamus just because he needs that experience more than Dusty, not Dusty, well, I'm, saying, I'm not saying Dusty because he's on the screen, more than Brock Lesnar, Seamus will destroy Dusty Rhodes here, and give us another perfect game, I find this tier a little bit easier if I'm honest, either that I'm just getting lucky, that could be a mix of both. Who knows? Are we going to get a perfect game to the final game of this episode? Possibly. It's going to be our 300th game as well, guys. Throughout this series, which is a lot. And we've Uncommon Roman Reigns, Common Stop Sign, and Uncommon Triple H. Wow, we've got Roman Reigns and Triple H in the same load of picks. I'm not playing against that Gaith guy again. I'm going to play against our man for the final game of the episode. And let's see what we can do. So much speed charisma will be Andre all day long. Whoever comes up against he usually be so it's a good sign. I really like this Andre Pro card and it's not even fully pro yet. Nowhere near it. Level four. So you can get about another hundred on each of his stats. I'm gonna put power down of Bree. Not that it makes a fucking bit of difference. <sighs> I just wasted my card. If it's a Divas match now, I might actually just cry myself to sleep tonight. Please don't be a Divas match. Please be a Superstars match. Please be a Superstars match. <sighs> Come on, Kalisto, bring it into the boys. Really? Really? Cos. Wait, that's a draw. I'm like 90% sure that's a draw. Oh, an interesting way to end the episode. It's the extra match. Tag team toughness, let's go. Hell yes. To win for me, thanks to the extra match. I'm so glad that the extra match wasn't a Divas match, otherwise, I think I might have cried. So, Seamus and Lesnar do beat Seamus and Andre, which is good. And that will end the episode after I've upgraded the guy that I'm... Well, actually, woman. I'm going to upgrade this episode. It's going to be Brie Bella because I really want a decent diva. I've got a lot of decent superstars now. They seem to win in most matches, so there you go. I think we lost one or two that episode. I think we lost one, I'm not sure. I'll check. I'll be able to tell because I think we had 64 losses at the start of this. Yeah, we did. So we've only lost one this episode. I'm just remembering back to the start of the episode. And we do get to upgrade our Brie mode. Which is what I think upgraded in the end of last episode as well. So let's do all common cards first. And that should put her up to level 10 at least. I don't know how far she'll go into level 10, but... Learned to is not very far. We've still got some uncommons to upgrade her with. Rock, Triple H, Rain, Stardust, Rolling, Sinkara, Briefcase and Stop Sign. Could get to level 11, I'm thinking it will. We've still got a couple more cards after that as well. Like for example, um, I'm just going to take a quick dip into the rares here. We've got quite a lot. I'm not sure going to use any of the rare superstars. I'm going to use Bobby Heenan. Yeah, I don't care. Go on. And just, just to quickly one last check, see if we can somehow get it to level 12. 
Enhancement, no, support, that's not support, that's support, okay, wait, shit, it was on rare, wasn't it, okay, uncommon, common, none, alright, I want to keep Freddy Blassie because that's quite a good card, I'm just going to have a quick look over, I think it's time to make a sacrifice, I think we're going to sacrifice Naomi, and it might be a bad decision, but it puts it doesn't even put up to level twelve. I thought it was gonna put up to level twelve. Do you know what I'm gonna use one of our season one cards? Cause I really wanna to get to level twelve. I do have I do have normal common cards, do I not? Has it taken my season oh, she's taken my season one cards away? What is it telling me it's done that? Oh it has as well. You can't use season one cards to upgrade your people anymore. Oh well, that's a... Wait, is season one even still an option on the menu? Oh no, it's been completely erased. Okay then. Well, this has been the return episode of Supercard. Uh, this has been Let's Play Vegans episode 25. We tried to get Bree Bella to level 12. Not quite there. But not far off, my battery is pretty low, so I'm going to have to end this now. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for ever I record. Bye for now.